Welcome back. Here we are with uh, Football Manager 2020. Going to continue the regular season with Chelsea. Now Christian Pulisic starting. He's already gotten an assist. Got a bunch of yellow cards from our midfield, but we're looking to try to make things work. We've got no uh, no transfers. So there's a transfer ban for the first six months finishing up this season. Definitely got to get that going. We're going to have to bring up some youth players probably. Figured out how to do that uh, recently so we can do that as needed. If people get injured, definitely going to want to do that. Um, looking forward to making some progress, winning some games. This is definitely exciting. I'm excited for the game later on. Um, so I'm going to try to get this over with before the game starts. We'll see how things go. Um, definitely looking to get Pulisic. He's back from his vacation and the regular season starting. So we're really excited here. Um, feel free to follow Twitch, whatever. Um, got the links down there. I'm going to go ahead and move on. Looks like we got everything all set. Hopping over to the game. All right. All right. Like I said, we're back in our regular season. You can see our team is mostly back together. We got a few injuries right now. You can see the squad right here. Um, got Kepa. He's still injured, but he's quite good. So I'll probably end up starting him. Um, he's in the rehab process expected in one day. So possibly this next game, we'll see. I think we got a couple days of training and recovery between, before the next game. So we'll see how that goes. Um, we, the uh, backup goalie is still hurt. Um, right now the player of the last game was Pulisic. Um, that's pretty exciting. He got an assist and, uh, and he's excited. Pedro got the last goal. Uh, Olivier Giroud in extra time. I think it didn't it cut off my recording, so I missed the last couple minutes. Um, if you had seen it live, you would have seen uh, they knocked in a uh, centered it for Giroud, and I just had put him in. I put him in for Abraham. He got a header, knocked it in in the 92nd minute to win our first game of the season. That was last game, so that was pretty exciting. Um, so we're definitely looking forward to more with him. Um, otherwise, looks like pretty much everyone's set. We're waiting on Hudson Adoy. As soon as Hudson Adoy comes back, he will take William's spot, and William will go on to be transferred. We're supposed to get a lot of money. I think the sooner we get him back and the sooner we transfer, the better uh, money-wise. Tamori was struggling a little bit in the first couple games, so I'm kind of wishy-washy whether I put him in or not. Um, he's definitely really young, so that would make sense. Uh, Reese James is still injured, and so is RLC, uh, Loftus Cheek. And that's go I think that's all set. We'll bring up to speed as we go. I'll try to uh, explain everything step by step. Um, see how everyone. If anyone has any questions, feel free to mention it into the chat. I'll try to keep an eye on that. Um, let's see. So we've got our next game coming up with Newcastle. Um, Notable journalists. So they have a lot of press conferences. I'm attending them because I want to see what happens. I don't know whether that's going to be useful or not, but I might as well. Um, people tend to like when I input my own opinion. I try to say what's going on and try to match it because I think that that provides the best uh, reaction. Despite only having 38% of the possession, you still manage to win. How do you... How do you intend? Do you tend to allow Arsenal quite so much of the ball? Oh, did you intend? Um, I'm going to just calmly say where I see more of the ball. Yeah. Giroud's late goal was something for you to savor. What did you think of that moment? Um, I'll calmly say I'm pleased with the goal. Performance overall was poor. I want to move on. No, I don't say that. Um, no less than we deserved. The whole side was working right to the final whistle. Yeah, we can say that passionately. Sure, why not? Well, despite being comprehensively outpossessed, you've managed to avoid defeat. How do you reflect on that performance? Um, we worked hard to defend the structure to build up, and it certainly paid off. Um, Pedro had a great time for you out there today. What did you make of it? Terrific showed how good he is. Sure, why not? First choice is good. Uh, how would you describe the relationship with Arteta, the coach of Arsenal? Um, I don't have any time for him. He's friendly. 
Not to be trusted. Okay. There's also additional comments. Oh, I can type something. Interesting. All right. Pedro had a great game. It's been integral since he got here from Barcelona. Yep. The only problem is he's 32 and a little bit short. Um, I can praise his performance. That wouldn't hurt, right? You were subver sub uh, superb. Um, keep it up. Appreciate that. Thanks. Now he's up to superb in morale. This is excellent. Okay. Especially since I'm not going to play him all that much. He's coming off. He's like a, a coming off the bench to get goals and stuff. I might play him more if Hudson Odoi comes back and he gets hurt a lot. Um, he might play a little more than he actually played in the season. That's fine. For for Arsenal, they had Aubameyang, Pierre Emerick Aubameyang with the goal. He's actually really good, scoring a lot, so that's not too surprising. Chelsea's right smack dab in the middle after a couple games. Arteta seems to have very little interest in ending his, this recent spat with you. How do you feel about his latest comments? He said, I wasn't at all impressed with how Mangler conducted himself before the match. I wish he could just let soccer do the talking instead of having to resort to all these mind games. Me? <laughs> the result just makes it all the harder to take. And I have to apologize to the fans because they're the ones who feel it the most. Okay. Um, I'm not paying the slightest attention, to be honest. I am focusing on what lies ahead for the club call. Whatever. Arteta has claimed that your team's late goal against them was completely undeserved. Do you agree with that? We deserve far more than that. Um, I'm going to... This is an experienced and deceitful, unfriendly guy. So I will calmly say I don't think so at all. We deserve far more than that. Clear. Whatever. Pensive. All right, what a match. Saka was a real winner today. Yep, definitely. Chelsea spokesperson. Uh-huh, all right. Pedro gets the job done. That's interesting they had view highlights. I didn't even I should have I should have clicked on that. Let's see if I can go back. Yeah, there we go. View highlights. I just want to see what this looks like. This might be interesting to see. So they're just cutting from highlight to highlight. I can skip ahead, next highlight. Oh, this is cool. So I could actually jump forward to previous highlights as needed. This is going to be handy. This will definitely be useful. So I can see specific points uh, and see what happens. So if I miss something, I'll be able to watch it later. Interesting. David Luiz. I think one of the ones I wanted to see was down here. 92nd minute, Giroud with the goal. Wow! What a shot. And that was the last goal. That was cool. Very interesting. All right. We deserved even more. Yeah, for my coach. Not gonna, now they're going to say I'm greedy. Probing subject. BBC London. Happy with boy to fight sour ending. Wow, he was happy. Interesting. Just not the man. If he thinks otherwise. Whatever. Alright, so this is our under 23s. 
Do we want to put anybody here? They have nine suggestions for under 23s. Um, let's put Betsy in there. He's in need of match sharpness. Let's put, should we put Barkley in there? Got a lot of midfielders. He's in need of match sharpness. How about Zappacosta? Yeah, definitely. I'm picking players that I might not play in the game. Um, Rudiger, oh yeah, definitely. How about Tamori? No, we might need him. Okay. That works. And they bumped the three from the main team to the under-23 starting lineup. We'll take it. Get them warmed up. Um, Post-match analysis. Best performance. They gave it to Pedro. 8.0. Wow, that's really good. He came off the bench. That's pretty awesome. Paris McWillian offer. Made an offer of $25 million. Transfer may rise to $32 million. Um, let's stall this. I, again, I'm not ready to do that at the moment. He still wants to go to Guangzhou. You know, why does he want to go to China? That's really interesting. Hi, you thanks, or however you pronounce that. You Tell me how to pronounce it in the chat, and I can uh, clarify. <laughs> And welcome. We're continuing with wrap-up of the last game, the win, and we're going to move forward to the next one. I've got a couple days of training here. Reviewing previous games. Yada, yada, yada. We're still in the middle. Kepa is starting to get better. He's at 79%. This is our main goaltender. So he's not quite there at the moment. we still got a couple days, so maybe he'll get better. They said about one game and he'll be ready, so keep an eye on that. Other injuries, RLC, uh, Ruben Loftus-Cheek still injured, Reese James still injured, Colin hudson Odoi still injured, and Van Gingol is always injured. Scouting report for the next game coming forward. $30 million of William. Yeah, um, definitely looking forward to getting a high offer for him. Um, I want to have somebody to replace him, so I'm... Hoping Hudson Adoy comes back from injury and I can time it. So when he comes back, I'll, I'll uh, sell William. And about 30 million is what I'm hoping to get for him. Um, I don't want to wait too long because I get his. I'm guessing his value will go down a little bit because of age. Yeah, 30 million. Sell him. That is my goal. I'm going to sell him. That's a great idea. Um, he's on the list for it. So in in I actually got a better bid from. Real Madrid. Um, so they were showing the Paris one that was 20 something million. So I'm going to try to get more for him. So right here, I've got three offers on William. So here's the offers. Uh, I had 32 million for Paris, 32 and a half million from Real Madrid, and Lazio tried to loan him out. I'm, I'm still in the uh, transfer ban, so I can't get a younger person at the moment. Definitely don't have anybody. I, um, Hudson Odoi, when he comes back, will be better. Definitely.
Mason Greenwood. Yeah, I, I can't get him right now, though. Can't pick him up yet. They, they still have the transfer ban for me. So I'm holding on to him to be able to use him. I just started the season though. I got a lot of games coming up. You really want me to play without my uh, one of my best wingers? It's kind of risky, especially with the backup injured. All right, social feed. Mixed history. Really? I, well, they, they got rid of him for nothing. I don't think Chelsea in real life actually got anything for William. I think he was a free transfer. They could have sold him. So you're, you're saying that I should just go ahead and cut the, cut the cord now? My tactics right now are 4-1 four one, four one wide. And I've got a, also I've got other developed tactics that are good. Um, gig and press, 4141 wide. This one's not as good though. Uh, this current one's actually better because I, I lost when I tried the other one. Exactly, yeah. But. All right, sounds good. I'll 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 sell him. You said I should sell him. I'll sell him. I was thinking to do that anyway. I'm new at this game, so definitely I'll look into that. Okay. All right. If you insist, I'm sure you know more than me. Thank you. All right. Dumped him. Bye, William. <laughs> I already changed the numbers. <laughs> Piazka got player of the match for his game as a center back. He's definitely something I'll look into. Yeah, Greenwood, Fati, Timo. I know we'd like to get Werner, but none of these guys, I, they're all available. But right now we got a transfer ban, so we can't pick them up yet. But those are definitely good guys to look for. I'll definitely be looking for picking them up as soon as we can. We definitely have plenty of money, so it's not an issue. But once we get to December, we're allowed to. We're not. They're not banned anymore.
All right, look at that. That's why I got a 7.2 when he played with the younger group. Rudiger got some minutes. Six injuries. Yep, same people. They just keep going in circles. <laughs> right now, they still say Zuma is a high injury risk. Mount is a high injury risk. Aspilicueta, Abraham, Christensen, Plessic, Conte. So we'll definitely keep an eye on them. Might not have to, might not want to play them that much. Kepa was selected as part of the team of the week. Wow. Okay. All right, James Clark could be of use to the Ember 20s. Sure, why not? Uh, progression, nothing to change here. Pulisic could become slightly better than William. Yeah, I think so. I will look at him. Definitely. I'm writing him down so I remember to look. Thank you. Giroud has injured for one to three days. During training. Dog. Okay. Our guy out on loan, Sterling, was injured. He'll be out five to six weeks. Ouch. Might want to bring him back. Have our medical people look at him. Although I'm sure their, their medical people are just as good. Looking around the globe, looking for names. Training right now. He said the goal coping, uh, he recommends me improving the quality of the coaching team or the goalkeeping coach. Okay. Um, super cheap. Let's look at his actual abilities. One of these things is to look at his skills. So if he's a goalkeeping coach and he's all 18s and he only has two stars. He's from Belgium. Um, I think it doesn't hurt to have more coaches. So this guy's cheap. He's happy. Okay, we'll move on. Eventually, I'm sure when we fill up with coaches, we'll start picking out the the worst ones. But improving on coaching is always good. Now they're saying top target pursuits. They're recommending me assigning him to be a scout. Show an initial initial interest. 84 years old. Wow. His role is as a scout, so I don't know what that changes. We have a center defender, 22-year-old, good skills. He's a 
all right header jumping reach those are always good to have loan list so they're saying put TA or tie and coming on the loan list would benefit from more playing time um, that's fine with me putting both of them as recommended Gallagher lower Gallagher injured oh he was one of our top midfielders coming up He's out six to seven weeks for a stress fracture. Ouch. A lot of injuries. Okay. All right. Pick the following team. Um, I'll say suggested, and then I can change it later as I get closer. They're trying to put in Pedro instead of William. Well... I just sold him, so that makes sense. <laughs> Chelsea the favorites. I hope so. Another press conference. Christensen, several standout attributes make people think difference against Newcastle. Do you share these sentiments? Um, <laughs> well, you could make the same sort of argument with everyone on the squad, couldn't you? How important will William be, I mean, for will Abraham be for your approach against Newcastle when you consider his standout abilities? We know he is. How important can he be? He's a good player. A lot of good players. Can't pick all of them. Well suited this type of match. Surprised if he wouldn't be involved. Calmly say that. Polisic appears to not just be great fit in terms of your team's style, but also for squaring off against Newcastle. Do you agree? Um, well suited this type of match. Surprised if he wasn't involved throughout. Telling me what I just told them. Okie doke, whatever. <laughs> Next match is tomorrow. Now they're seeing who I want to bring from the first team. They recommend me putting Hudson Adoy. He's got a lot of sharpness to go. He's still quite injured. Let's put him. Nah, it's only 35%. He's still injured. I don't want him to get hurt. Expected back five to ten days, and then we have our backup goalie. Um, and need a match sharpness. Um, I think I want to hold on to him as a backup because our our current goalies might be hurt. So I'm not going to put either one of those. Completed match tactical report summary of my device uh, advice. They want me to switch from balanced to attacking. Sure, that makes sense. We score more goals, we usually win by a lot more when we do attacking, especially against worse teams. Got to jump on the jump on it when we can. Increase attack duties, four to five attack duties, sensible. That's fine. So they want me to move up to have more people up forward. No. That looks funny. I would have to change my entire mentality and, and tactic right there for that. So not going to do that. We are strongest in the middle of the park. Focus play down the middle. Um, not going to do that. I think when we, I've seen most of the plays that we've done where they dart out past everybody on the outside. So, um, 
I'm not going to say that. Losing match fitness. Barkley, Alonso, and Ziger. <laughs> well, they're backups for a reason right now. Play say that for the least played players all the time anyway. All right. Handle the briefing. Tactic wise, I'm going to suggest this, and they're going to say nothing. Attacking mentality. They like that idea. That's good. They're all happy about that. Um, pass into space. I like that. Nothing. All right. Higher tempo. They like that. High pressing intensity, and they like that too. All right, tactic wise. Now, player wise, Kepa. No, I don't want him to dribble or take risks, so never mind. Christensen, hold position, take more risks. No. Conte. Oh, I don't know why they cover it up so you can't see what's underneath. Aspilicueta, focus on getting farther forward. Um, we want Alonzo to focus on farther forward. There we go. Alonzo, we like him. He takes a lot longer shots and could possibly score one. Um, Pedro crossing. Want Abraham to get some goals, take more chances. Always further forward. Okay. Opposition instructions, we could right off the bat say we have to close down these two players. Sure. Cool. All right. End meeting. Chelsea keeping tabs on Bankovic. Central defender. We're discussing terms with him even though we're not allowed to transfer anybody. Okay. For training, Mount was the top one. We can praise him. That'll increase his happiness. Or not in this case. We can criti criticize Christensen, William, and Batswai, but I'm not going to bother uh, chewing him out. I don't know, does chewing him out actually help? The weekly save. Do, 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 do. Auto save. One time I forgot to save and I had to go backwards to one of these, so I'm glad they have them in here just in case I forget to save. You get distracted, you got streaming, you got recording. I'm also recording this for YouTube too, so definitely worth uh, saving. Under 18s had a big win. Okay. Guys coming back from injury, this is good. Giroud could be off the bench at the end of the game and get a header in at the in extra time again, like usual. That's nice. Loan clauses that people came up with. If they play a certain amount, they pay us more money. So I guess that's a incentive to pay more. All right. So here's the lineup. All these players look adequate. 
Tamori's questionable, a little shaky, but because we're playing Newcastle, I think that there's a good chance that we'll be able to hold form. And I know Polistic's on the wrong side, but in this game, he, they have him much better on the right, so I know in real life he's on the left, but you got to do whatever, whatever the game tells you is adequate for the player. I think that looks okay. Maybe Barkley will come in as a sub. He hasn't played in a while, so. All right, quick pep talk. Assertively say we're favorites for a reason. All the best out there. Have fun. Nothing but a win. Favorites here. Go out. Just go out there, relax, play, and after the result will come. <coughs> Didn't work. Uh, assertively say go out there and make a difference. They usually like that. One person liked it. Assertively say, go out there and make a difference. No difference. Okay, attack. Assertively say, go out there and make a difference. Nothing. All right. And we do a kickoff. All right, highlights. I think the kickoff is a highlight, but it looks like we got one right off the bat with Pedro getting a shot in. Almost. Opening shot within one minute. Tamori over to Pulisic. Um, goal! Assist! Look at that! Wow! That looked out to me, but I'm not going to argue. Tamori knocked it in. Pulisic always oh, topped it right on the line. And he got it to Abraham, who got a header in. Look at that. One zip right off the bat in the second minute. Woo! Beautiful. Lonzo to Kovacic, back to Tamori, over to Pulisic. Oh, centered it to Pedro, who bumped it wide. And goes right into another corner. To Pedro, mount to Pedro, not quite. <clears throat> Look at that. Oh, shot on goal. Christian got a shot, but... It was saved. Marcos, Kovacic, Pedro, centered it. Polisic back to Mount. Oh, saved, knocked out. That looks like, yeah, corner kick. Ooh, off the crossbar. That was close. That was like back crossbar. Keppo went up and couldn't quite knock it down. Slight injury. Yep, here we go. Conte got hurt, so we're going to put Barkley in. He needs sharpness and he needs minutes anyway, so. Hold groin. Polisic to Kovacic, back to Barkley, who got a shot, but it was deflected out. Alonzo was caught offside. Alonzo, offside, he's a uh, defender. <laughs> I told him to play more forward, but offside is pretty extreme. So we're up one zip. That's not bad. Look at that, 14 shots, 10 on target. So we just need to whittle them down. Their defense is going to get tired if we keep getting shots on them, I think. So pep talk, assertively say to everyone, I'm pleased what I saw from the team. Most of them were happy. That's good enough. Increasing morale, that's the goal, right? I'm like the team cheerleader. Ooh, one of their players was injured. This is a long run. Pedro all the way. Got a shot and knocked it into a corner. Here comes the corner. Mount to Pedro. Wow, what a volley. 
That was all by himself. Just bam, right there. Perfect timing. Look at that. Mm, poof, left footed. Beautiful. Good job, Pedro. Aspilicueta has been quite error prone today. Ooh, free kick from Barkley. Leads to a corner mount to Tamori. Back to Kovacic. Quick passes all around and nothing. No shot there. So we're at the 60th minute. I usually make a sub right here. I'm going to hit pause and see who's tired at the moment. Ooh, they had a shot. All right, so I'm going to pause it right now. We've got everybody 75 or above, so I don't think we need anybody at the moment. We already made one sub, so if we did make one and saved one, it wouldn't help too much. So I'm going to wait just to see what happens for the next few minutes. Christensen got a yellow card. We just keep getting more shots on goal. Look at that, 22 shots. He's been booked. We might tell him to ease off tackles. Okay, I'll tell him that. Barkley, Barkley, free shots. Can't get it past the wall. So I'm going to hit pause. I saw somebody under 70. Oh, Barkley with a goal. All right. Wow, did he just do a cartwheel? <laughs> Mount to Barkley from like 40 yards away. They don't show it again. Okay, so we're up to fifth position already. This is good. This is a comeback game for us. Um, let's go ahead and... We said, okay, so Polisic's tired. Let's go ahead and take out Christian. Or, it's funny, I can put William in, even though I just sold him. Let's go ahead and put Batsui in. I know he's slightly out of position, but that's okay. <laughs> nice non steal there. Centered. Oh, how did you not make that? That was a perfect centered. He had the header and he just hit the crossbar. That's all right. Nice. Oh, oh. Marcus Alonso almost made that. That looked like a foul. And this is the last probably seven seconds. I'm guessing they're just going to time. Yep. Yeah. End of time. Final whistle. Change the position near the center. I predicted a Chelsea win today. They duly delivered. Their fans will undoubtedly be pleased with this victory and the performance to go with it. All right. In the dressing room. I can assertively say, well done, good win for us. They were all happy. Easy enough, easy peasy. Crowd of 75,635. Yep. Pedro and Abraham again. 
player of the match was Mount. Interesting. 8.3. This is good. Because he had two assists. The press conference. Abraham got his first league goal for the club. How important is it for the new striker to get off the mark? Great moment for Tammy. He'll start banging them in on a regular basis now. Everyone enjoyed Barkley's goal. 28 yards. That silenced the opposition fans. Must have been fantastic to see one of your players score a goal like that. How did you rate it? Um, I will calmly say... I've seen more better ones in training. No. Goal befitting the player. Excellent today. Deserves the claim of that finish. Sure. This is a journalist named Curtly Abrahams, who's devious. Abraham netted his first goal today, coming through for through the club's academy. You must share the fans' delight in seeing a young player coming through the ranks and make an impact at this level. Um, I'm going to cautiously say I don't mind who scores really, same weather academy or a multi-million pound si signing. Mount, Mount was outstanding today, wasn't he? He lifted the rest of the team with a brilliant performance. Okay. Mount Stellar. Praise his performance. You were superb. Quality chances. Keep it up. Appreciate the comments. I'll work even harder to continue to impress. He's excellent. Alright, one of our bosses was seen during the 3-0 victory. Speculation persists that Ancelotti may well be tracking Abraham, player on the radar for some time. Alright. You're trying to pick up my players, but I only have a few right now, especially since I got rid of one of them. Summarize board satisfied. This looks like our money's going slightly down. Abraham enraged enraged with my comments. I don't mind two scores really. It's the same whether Academy or Monday. So he, he didn't like that. Okay. Or they made it look like that. So the under twenty threes. Um, showing who's still available. Um, same three, sure. It's like good practice for the non-starters to get some minutes. Keeps their sharpness. What a match. Soccer was the real winner today. Didn't you say that exact same thing after the previous game? That was 31 minutes ago. I think he copied and pasted his previous comment. Broken record, right? Scouting report, Sheffield United, leaders in every department. 
four more sh chances than their opponents on average. Scouting meeting, they recommend a 29-year-old world-class midfielder. He's four stars, four stars, 91% recommendation. Um, don't need a midfielder right now. I think I'm going to, he's, he's pretty old, he's 29. I can also check him out specifically on his skills, but I'm just going to say acknowledge it. Tiago Silva, hey, hey, what are the odds? They're looking at Tiago Silva, 34-year-old center back. Where are the odds? Three and a half star. I like that he's a defender. We definitely need to look more defenders. Um, I'll acknowledge him. Odomendi, 31 year old center back, three and a half star, three and a half star. Um, they give him a hundred percent recommendation, even though he's only a 70. <clears throat> he's better than my current players. Um, I, he's already on my short list, so they're just recommending him. I'll leave him on my short list for that. Okay. 22 year old attacking midfielder, super expensive, only 78%, only two and a half stars. Um, I'll just acknowledge it. Depay is a winger, three and a half star, three and a half star, pretty expensive. Um, I'll acknowledge it for now. Um, here's a center back, Kabak. Ta, 23 year old, so he's much younger. I know the center backs defenders tend to be better as they get older, um, but I'll keep him on the list just in case. There was a 30 year old midfielder from Chile. He's good. He's pretty old. 23 year old striker. Um, they want us to scout him. Here's his overall skills. He's got 17s on off the ball, 18 on aggression, 19 on strength. Um, should we scout him? What do you think? Morelos. Got six goals and only five appearances. So that's probably why they're looking at him. Eighteen year old midfielder, lots of potential here. Extremely cheap. Probably because he's 18 years old and there's a lot to improve. Another Silva. Extremely interested in transferring. Very highly skilled. Pretty cheap, actually. Put him on the short list. We got a 28 year old winger. Pretty good, extremely expensive. Gaia is a 24 year old fullback. Lots and lots of potential. I like the lots of potential part. It's pretty expensive. 27 year old fullback. Lots of potential. 22 year old midfielder. Cheap. So they're picking pretty good players now. Thirty-year-old, dubious, extremely expensive. No. Twenty-one-year-old, enthusiastic center back. They want me to scout him. What are his skills? Key headers. 
pretty good. He's good at jumping. <laughs> His jumping is good. Yeah, we could get a jump rope king over here, and they probably would like him too. Extremely expensive. Oh my gosh. 70 million? Alright. Cracker at Molyneux, okay. Review the training schedule. Looks good. They mix it up, try all the different things, so. Abraham dream training workload is too low. Kepa agrees. Jorginho most suitable role is defensive midfielder. Zappa Costa most suitable as a right back. Aspilicueta most suitable as a right back. Kovacic Recommended to be trained in corners. Rudiger as training in long throws. Sure. Coaching assignments. Bergera for... He's currently as a goalkeeper. Well suited to coaching category. He's a better goalkeeping coach in a coaching category, so no. And then better balance coaching workload. They want me to remove him as a shot stopping coach, but look at his goalkeeping coach shot stopping 18. So is I wonder if they're t telling me to bump him off because I just got somebody else, so he's like being replaced. Um, all right, so player of the match is Zapacosta. So I brought him in to the under twenty threes from the starters, and he was the player of the game. That's off. To, that's weird that a defender was the highest ranking rating, seven point five. Mount made the play the team of the week. Look at that. Nice. William close to signing with Paris. Okay. As Twitch recommended, I'll do it. Make parting comment to William. Passionately say, wish you the best of luck. You've been a fantastic servant to the club. Welcome back anytime. Compile the training report for on Mount. He's improved in lots of different things. See, he's kind of a medium. He doesn't have that many high skills. His best thing is stamina. <laughs> I don't know if that's a positive thing or not, especially if you have a lot of backup players. But you can only make three trans or uh, three guys off the bench, so. Free kick. Free kicks only a 14. 
All right, around the world, reading through all these things, looking for names, interesting players, nothing. All right, <laughs> matches. Carabao Cup, continue. Championship, Champions Cup. Bye, William. Transfer made, it should eventually go to thirty two million. That's something. Due to the deal involving Hazard, Chelsea have been paid a bonus of 5.5 million. All right, more money. Bonuses played, paid, and they showed all the players and how, all that they got. Two point five million went to Napoli because of George for Jorginho. Ah. So he's still under them, so we're still paying every time we use him. Any interest? I know he likes us. I think he recently got people offered him to go somewhere else and he came back. He said, No, I like to stay here. Even if I don't have to play all the time. He gets along really well with some of the other players I know. Jorginho. Got that Portuguese H as an N-Y. H, uh, H-O at the end. Abraham overlooked by England. Okay. He's still really young, so he definitely has a lot of improvement. Here's our draw. We're in Group H with Napoli, Leipzig, and Brugge. Chance of a redraw? We've got no hope whatsoever. <laughs> Funny. Start with the suggested squad. If I change my mind later, I can always change it or during the game. We're definitely favored. This is good. Hit <laughs> referee stats. Check the refs. See if they are going to favor the other team or us. That's funny. First team players for the under 18s match. Two 
few suggestions. Hudson Adoy still has a lot of sharpness. He's definitely expected to return in one to two days. Our backup goalie. I don't want to throw them away. I could make him available for a short time, but I don't want to risk him getting hurt even more if he's still one to two days away. Under 23s, who do we like here? Same three, sure. They also suggest Emerson, Barkley, Reese James, Hudson Adoy. Giroud, Jorginho, and backup goalie. No, 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 no. Okay. All right, look at that. We're almost at full right there. Creative freedom, passing style, pressing mentality, accomplished. We're definitely looking like preparation training, understood well, good understanding. Let's stick with this one for now, but we might want to switch to other ones later. Oh, that's the max. We're, we're only about 70%, so we definitely have improvements there. Press conference, whoop-de-doo. Immediate reaction of the cup draw? Too early to discuss that. Where do you think I'll finish? Too early to discuss that. Playing department maybe suggested you had more opportunities with some of the younger players like Hudson Adoy. Is this something you'd like to do? Um, I'd like to do. If the player's good enough, then the age doesn't matter. Here's the draw. Rather kind to Chelsea, matching your sign with a considerably weaker opponent. Um, Um, I'd rather concentrate on it rather than talking about it. The draw also features a trip to San Paulo. How much are you looking forward to that? Another devious guy. Cautious because he's devious, right? I've seen better, nothing special for me. Would you agree that Napoli are your toughest opponents? I'm not going to talk about them until I have a chance to study them cautiously. Here's an experienced one saying Liverpool, Man City, Chelsea, and Tottenham are the teams representing England in the competition this season. How do you rate the chances of an English winner? Uh, only considered about Chelsea. Public want to hear a proper answer. Would you agree? Napoli are your toughest opponents. Unfriendly. Elsewhere, Liverpool have been drawn against Leverkusen, Atalanta, and Donetsk. How do you rate their chances? Okay. I don't want to look at that. Increase attack duties. Yeah, you keep asking that. Adjust instructions. Focus down the middle. Emerson, Barkley, and Jorginho need more time. It's going to happen for all our midfielders because we're kind of stocked. More press conference. We just had one. Last time against Newcastle, your team played pretty well. You must be hoping the side carries into that good play into the next game. Um, passionately say we're looking forward to it. Sheffield United have no so far confounded their critics as the preseason relegation candidates currently lie 10th in the Premier Division table. 
They're currently out of the relegation zone. There won't be any many expecting the Blades to beat your Chelsea team. How do you see the game going? They're a good team. We have to respect that and see how the game goes. Chris Wilder is winning a lot of plaudits for having such an abundance of domestic players at his disposal. Do you agree that his policy in using homegrown players is a good thing? Big into foreign talent. I'm daring to say that. That's going to make everyone mad at me for saying that. I'm going to do it though. Do you think you're being disrespectful to the country players with your comments? I'm not going to dignify that with an answer. I just want to see what happens. Harms the game, domestic bias. I knew it. I knew they'd be upset. Oh, uh, let me see. All right. Tactical briefing, here we go. Tactics, no response. Balanced, should we do balanced or? Pass into space, higher tempo. Hey, they like higher, te higher tempo. Look at that. All right. Specific player. Which players were not happy? Conte was not happy. So let's try. No, nah, he's not going to be happy if I say wide areas today. We don't want him in the wide areas anyway. He's better at defending right down the middle. Kovacic. Don't shoot for the sake of it. Opportunity is there. Isn't the match to be dribbling endlessly? Move the ball. Make sure you hold your position for the sake of the team. No, he didn't like that. Okay. If everyone else was happy, um, I like to say Abraham get forward just, and also Alonzo to get forward, right? Yeah. And we'll say, close him down early and often. And if I tell them now, then they'll remember it in the game. Okay. Next, next. We are currently in sixth place. Two wins, one loss. Changed location due to another game. Wow, Mount was a 9.2. He continues to to uh, dominate here. Let's praise him passionately again. Recent training, great. Thanks a lot. Extremely good. We'll take him. No bad performances worth noting in training this week. Also good were Aspilicueta and Tamori. Looking forward to that. Alrighty. Got rid of William. So long, William. Again, like for 
than 10th time. I get it. Okay. Christian Plisic and Matt Miazga called up by USA head coach for the games against Canada and Cuba. They're in September 7th and 10th. So called up, does that mean that he's not going to play this game or he's not going to play the next game? Ooh. We will see. They'll probably get like a hat trick or something against Cuba. I think they ended up winning 9-zip or something like that. I think he had he had his hand in five goals or something. I remember those highlights. I might have posted them on my Twitter, but uh, yeah, maybe. Um, Bankovic watched by Chelsea. Yeah, they keep reminding me. Got a few months there anyway. Not quite fully fit, so Giroud won't start. James Hudson Adoy not quite there yet. Shucks. Okay. Preview. That's nice. All right, so we still have Christian here. Um, we got Tamori. Should we take Tamori for Rudiger? Is Rudiger even an option? He's got some sharpness improvement to be made. Let's wait on that. And Zuma's still there too. How's Christensen and Tamari on sharpness? 98, 97, 100, 95. So they're both overall 100, 100. Happy to be part of the England setup. Huh. We'll leave as is. We may swap out some of these players. I know that we need some more time for some players need to improve their game. If we're up three net three nothing, we're definitely gonna replace them. So but overall, get it, got it, good it next. Warm up, dressing room, pep talk, assertively saying we're favorites. I don't like saying that. Nothing but a win. Keep our going. So we like all the defenders. We're happy. Let's talk to the attackers and try to get them. So assertively saying, make a difference. Nothing. All right. Well, everyone else was happy, so we'll take it. Planet football. Enthusiastic. Are you hopeful Conte carries his recent good form into the match? Passionately say... Uh, indebted to him recently for chances greatly improved if he plays well. And we're off. Christian up to Aspilicueta, who's playing way up high. Pulisic centered it to Abraham. Goal! Another assist. He just assist machine there. Awesome. What a shot. He dribbled it up, sped past him, passed it over, bam, header. Same spot as last game. He did like one of those whoops. We're up to second place. This is great. Only thing better would be first place, but I don't think you can do that with one loss on our plate. We lost the very first game against the Wolves. That was our broke our undefeated streak. I think we had like eight in a row of ties and wins. Oh no, Marcos. Oh, that was terrible. He tripped him in the box. Dang it, Marcos Alonso. We need a better wing back than Marcos Alonso. He's more of a Midfielder. He's getting old too. He trips a lot, a lot of times. I don't think they gave him a yellow card for that, but usually in the box if you do that. Oh no, another goal. Is this one of those offsides? No, it doesn't look like it. 
Offside. Disallowed. Phew. Health-wise, looks like one of their guys, Stevens, is kind of tired. Our guys are all okay. Here's a lot. Marcus Alonso. Oh, over the over the goal. Uh oh, corner. Oh. He snuck that one in there. Now they're doing another review. Tripping another player. They're not counting that one either. Are we lucky or what? And then right after that, they get a corner kick and that goes in. Our defense needs help. This is not good. Oh. 33 minutes. No one looks too tired at the moment. We need to push push the uh, intensity a little bit. Why is everybody uncautious? Pause. Why are we cautious? We need to be more positive. Oh, is that cautious because we're losing? I'm switching to positive to see if we can get some goals here. Well, maybe cautious because it's rainy. Maybe that's an automatic thing. Christian to Abraham, who centers it to the other team. Hmm. And the other team takes it all the way down, centers it, and off the crossbar. And Marcos gives them a corner. Marcus Alonso, what are you doing? Shucks. All right. We got some motivated players here. Everybody's healthy. I need to assertively say, come on, guys, show some desire. They reacted to that. I'll take that. Yeah, they're definitely playing more aggressively now. You can see a lot more steals and goal kick. Not tired at all, but they have dominating possession here. I already said that. Oh, what a man saved by the. That's got to be a yellow card. Yep. Pedro coming in. Nope. Alright, Pedro to Marcos to centered it and Abraham gave it right to the goalie. Another yellow card for them. Christian centered it and Abraham gave it to the goalie again. Oh, almost. Goalie knocked it out. Comes from another corner. Better get a goal here. Come on, guys. Ah, oh, it can be a free kick. 
Marcus Alonso kicks it wide. And they got a lot of free kicks. So we got free kicks coming all over the place. Let's bring in, well, well. Oh yeah, goal! Yes! Woohoo! Christian Pulisic with the goal, ties up the game. Booyah! Woo! Back post, right there in the goal. Woohoo! That's what we needed. Just like that. Woo! Oh, on the break, on the break, Abraham. Oh, just over. I'm going to look into pausing it and bringing in uh, Batswai for Pedro. It looks like Pedro's a little tired. Pause. All right, let's bring in Batswai. Pedro and we'll move Abraham in but so I will switch them spots and we got Aspilicueta needs to be subbed out let's bring defensive midfielder Rudiger should we bring in Rudiger he needs some time how about Zuma for Tamori and Rudiger for Aspilicueta okay so we brought our three subs there Confirm. We're gonna we're gonna take this one. We we think we have a chance here. All right, Christian, all the way down. Centered it to Batswai. Oh, mistouched. He had it. He did his volley, and then he slipped and missed. Yellow card, just three minutes. Come on. All on the line for this one. Pulisic centers it. Mount. Oh, saved. Looks like this one's going to be a tie. They're probably going to call it. Yep. Sheffield United will have the happier set of supporters this evening after gaining the draw against Chelsea. The Chelsea head coach, however, is likely to be wondering why they weren't able to win the game. Yeah, look at that. Christian had a 9.0. Doesn't get much better than that. He had a goal and an assist. I blame this one on William. <laughs> William got sold. That's okay. I think in the long term, it'll benefit the team. We'll get a lot of money out of it. And better than nothing, right? Better than we would have gotten before. Let's do the dressing room. Tell the team performance was disappointing. Uh, yeah. Let's assertively say... Not good enough. We should have won that match. Most of them reacted positively to that. They all look fired up happy. I don't want to say much else. Oh, let's see. How are we doing on time? It's almost game time. Less than an hour away. 40 minutes. We'll go ahead and keep pushing forward, seeing what everyone says. Yeah, I'll just later. All right. 
press conference. Why have you adapted this tactical approach? Devious. It's the Abraham guy again. I do it same reason anything. We're all about winning. Large swell of support for the fans that you're attacking intent. Something we can continue to expect from you. One match at a time. Another devious guy. Oh, Wusu. Puppet want to hear a proper answer from you. Large swell of support from the fans for your attacking intent. Didn't you just say I would say almost the exact same question? Whatever. All right. Christian impresses for Chelsea. Christian was the best player on on the park this afternoon. Right winger netted an equalizer to round out his performance when scoring a well-struck effort in the top corner from 22 yards. Constant threat as his direct running and trickery with the ball caused havoc in their defense. And they said that his first goal was April 17th for the Bundesliga back when he played for Dortmund. Oh, I can praise his performance. Um, assertively say, superb in front of goal, keep it up. Appreciate that, thanks. I'll continue to work hard and impress you. See you later then, or in my Fortnite skills. <laughs> Just kidding. Continue. We're up to fourth, even though that was just a tie. Liverpool's in first. Training and recovery, dot, dot, dot. It's just spinning. It's the spinning wheel. Come on, guys. We hit browse and... No, did I freeze the game? gonna do that on me. I'm, I've never had this happen where the game crashed right in the middle. Oh, whew. That was close. Almost gave me a heart attack there. Hey, our values went up. Board is satisfied overall. Encouraged by Christian's recent performances. Oh yeah. Next match is against Liverpool and the goalie is still doubtful. I play this way to win. They're quoting me on myself and telling me, okay. Leicester beat Watford 5 zip. Alright, scoring on everybody. Best performance 9.0 with Polisic. Worst was Tamori 6.3. Mistakes leading to goal. Hmm. I think they said for Christian that he's very skilled on directing his shots, like pinpointing his spots, but his power is a little bit lower than maximum. 
which probably makes sense. I don't. I've seen him do penalty kicks, and he usually just tricks people and pops it over the goalie's head or does something that out of place. He he's really good at pinpointing it. Player of the month number three was Abraham with two goals. First was Rashford and uh, Alexander Arnold as a defender. Wow, how did they pick that one up? His average rating, apparently. View award. Okay, I'm just curious what it might look like. I like how we got pictures of everybody. This is good. Useful in case you forgot who these people were. Marcus Rashford. He is good. Goal of the month. Barkley's long shot. 28 yards. Spanish first division player of the month. On loan. Morata. Nice. Best in training, Mount Aspilicueta. Nobody is worse. This is good. Now we're in fifth place, so we were in fourth. I think we have one extra loss versus an extra draw from Hotspur. So we're, but we're only two points out of first. Let's keep Liverpool close by. If we beat them, we'll bump them down. Depends on how everyone else does, whether we'll move into first on the table uh, in the standings. Dortmund's doing well. 4-1 Dortmund. Marco Reyes also had goals. Two from... And one from Sancho. How's Sancho doing? Six caps, no goals. He just scored. They call him perfect in dynamics. Interesting. I've never seen perfect. Perfect must be like as good as you can possibly get. I wonder what our players are thinking right now. Dynamics. Hmm. Two negatives. What is the negative? Prefer to be part of the social group within the locker room. I thought he and Jorginho were good friends. Thought he got along with a lot of people. No strong feelings about the squad's support for the manager, which remains at a high level. Hmm. Um, okay. Holds no opinion of me. Favored personnel. Weston McKinney. Rune Larson. Felix Poslak and Gaines. Okay. You can change his playing time here. You can change him. He's currently a squad player. You can move him to a regular starter. Important player. What does moving into a regular thing do? Is this going to make him move from good to something else? No. 
I'll say most because he gets hurt a lot. <laughs> yeah, goofing around trying to see what I can do. I'm trying to mess up my team by making them more to my liking. Alright, continuing. Financial update. Overall balance going back up slowly. They're supposed to pass. They're on on course to pass. Well, without spending too much money. I've got tons of money, so income is rising. Profiting. Barely. Transfer window top spenders. EPL was by far Premier League. I wonder why they call it division. What's the difference between division and league? Maybe it's a copyright thing. They can't call it the EPL for some reason. Satisfied with coaching. Disappointed with the results. D, C, 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 B minus. Interesting. They're critical. I think it's partly because we're in fifth place. If we were in third or better, they'd be happy. I did say that I'm trying to win, so shouldn't I always be? <laughs> Good atmosphere. It's the same atmosphere dynamics. Reese James is definitely getting better. This is good. He's good at passing, especially long passes. So he's off the injured list, is that what they're saying? Yeah, put him on the under 23s. Hudson and Doy, same thing, put him on the under 23. So we've got a couple players coming back. This is good. We will need them shortly. All right, Morelos is a striker, three star, whatever. Moving on. They recommend 100%, but he's only a 64. I mean, sorry, Morelos, but. Enthusiastic center back. He's kind of a wishy-washy medium kind of guy, I'll just say. I'll politely acknowledge and move forward. Martial gathers the attention. Training schedule. All right, the under-23s. First team players. This is where I wanted to say, oh, nobody's available. Interesting. I thought we were going to say, hmm, I guess they're still injured. I thought we were going to be able to pull up some of these other guys, but. Oh, maybe he meant under 18. Yeah, they, they are young. Well. Orient made an offer to loan him until the next transfer window. So they want to pay me for my backup goalie. Is that what they're saying? How much are they paying me? Nothing? They're paying me zero? Or they're offering me 
to have him for free. Um, I'm going to reject it because I need him as a backup goalie. My other backup goalie still hurts, so I can't do that right now. Now we're giving away somebody else for free. That's weird. All right. Well, I'm looking at the time. It's almost time to get started here. So um, I'm going to go ahead and start to wrap this up. Let's see where we're at. Yeah. I think I'm going to move forward because we got a game coming up soon. I'm definitely looking forward to watching that. It's on NBC in the U.S., uh, NBC Sports. Um, I definitely look forward to watching that, so I should probably get moving on that. Um, but thank you, everyone, for coming. I will d definitely continue this. The next match it will probably be next Friday, and we'll be playing against Liverpool. So that's going to be a really key match, and we'll see if, Pulisic can continue his dominant scoring um, and assists. So definitely hoping that works out. All right. We'll wrap that up. Thanks, everyone, for coming, and have a good one. Go Chelsea.